Hey guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to another Gear 6 video. Today we're going to be discussing the JD Phoenix voice actor reveals all and the expected release date for Gear 6. The Gears 5 campaign ended on a huge cliffhanger in many different ways, ranging from the reveal of the new Swarm Queen, the player narrative choice to save either JD Phoenix or Dale Walker, to the destruction of the Swarm at Kraken with what felt like an abrupt ending. Gears 5's story really serves as the narrative vehicle for telling the origin story for both the Locust and Queen Mira, diving deeper into the Kate Diaz character, while at the same time it's setting up the potential of the next follow-up sequel, in teasing the storyline narrative of War finally returning to planet Sarah on the global scale, as the surviving humans of Sarah fight against the evolution of the Locust in the Swarm once more. With the heroes of Delta Squad and the COG gearing up for the offensive of hunting down the new Queen Rainer and the Swarm special main hive, leaving Gears fans eagerly awaiting for what's next in the Gears of War saga in Gear 6. It seems like Gears fans aren't the only ones out there, as even the voice actors are wondering the exact same thing. Recently, JD Phoenix voice actor Liam McIntyre spoke to Dexerto in an exclusive interview at the Supernova Comic Con and Gaming event in Melbourne, Australia, discussing his role as JD Phoenix in the last two installments of the Gears franchise, including the Canon Choice, and what he knows about the Gear 6 sequel. When asked about an update on a Gear 6, the actor revealed that he has yet to actually hear back from the Coalition studio whether or not he will be coming back for the new game. Liam goes into further detail by stating, I haven't heard anything and that's genuine, like it's not even one of those I've got an NDA I can't tell you. I'm like, where we at? I don't know whether or not they're like, we're about to finish production and I'm sorry you're not the canon choice. With the canon choice between JD Phoenix or Del Walker surviving for now being kept secret and under wraps by the Coalition, McIntyre did hope that the story narrative choice could possibly lead to two different experiences for Gear 6, depending on who you chose to save by saying, I pitched a whole thing where I'm like, we can do both, trust me, it'd be great. I don't think people care what I think. I don't know what they're gonna do. Maybe like a Mass Effect split storyline thing, depending on what save game you have from the last one. Lastly, with the previously announced live action and Netflix Gears of War feature film movie, Liam was asked about if he would be interested in taking part if JD was added to the potential future Netflix Gears of War projects by replying, I'm gonna make peace with the fact that if they make JD in the live action, they'll probably pick Liam Hemsworth or something like that. There is no world where they are not going to take Dave Bautista as Marcus Phoenix. Now what's very interesting about this interview is the fact that the JD Phoenix voice actor has mentioned not hearing whatsoever back from the Coalition studio, which wouldn't be the first time as Fast Jutani voice actor in Rahul Kohli had also expressed waiting on a phone call from TC before closing down his own social media. So it begs the question, when can we actually expect Gear 6 to release? Seeing as how it's been over two years since the last update to Gears 5 in Operation 8 Drop 2 and no Gears of War announcements at the Xbox Showcase 2023, that it likely means that the expected announcement date for Gear 6 would be June 2024, and the expected release date for Gear 6 would be around September October 2025, given the fact that every Gears of War game of the past has been announced a year prior to releasing, and that the release year is used as a huge marketing window for Gear 6 news, story info, multiplayer betas, game mode reveals to official trailers, so we still have a few more years to go. Another take could be that if the Gears of War collection were to be true and in current active game development, whether that's by the Coalition themselves or outsourced to a different studio and overseen by TC, that developing a Gears collection overall wouldn't require the JD Phoenix character and voice actor to return just yet, and that Gear 6 could be even further out than anticipated. It could also be possible that Liam McIntyre is trying to deflect any spotlight on Gear 6 right now, until the time is right for the first ever official Gear 6 reveal announcement to happen, but nonetheless a very interesting perspective of where Gear 6 might be currently. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What is your opinion on JD Phoenix's voice actor Liam McIntyre Gear 6 comments? And when do you expect Gear 6 to release? For me personally, I don't believe it makes sense to create two different Gear 6 storylines based on whether JD Phoenix or Dale Walker is the canon death, and that the Coalition Studio will likely choose a canon choice overall so that they can carry on the story focusing on the character that lives. I do have a few more very interesting Gear 6 story free videos coming up on the channel very soon regarding the canon choice overall that you definitely won't want to miss so make sure you subscribe and notifications turned on for the channel to not miss any future Gears of War videos. So there you have it guys, full details on the JD Phoenix voice actor revealing all and what that means for the expected release date for Gear 6. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it, subscribe, really thank you guys for watching and as always I shall see you in the next one.